Star Citizen. Star Citizen. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Happy Hour Game Dev, the only show on the internet that has features real game developers being happy for approximately one hour. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You would think I tried like rehearse or pull one of these things ahead of time. I'm your host this week, community content manager Jared Huckabee, and joining us all the way from beautiful, sunny Manchester, England, uh, live designer at a Foundry 42, Mr. Gareth Bourne. Gareth, how you doing, man? Oh, I'm great, thank you. Um, as you've just said, it's actually pretty miserable. Here. <laughs> it's raining, what? being quintessentially British and moaning about the rain, but uh, that's what's happening. You mean it's 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 not 78 degrees and sunny in Manchester? No. No. I wish it was. No. It's been 78 degrees and sunny here in Southern California for the last four, 14 years. So, uh, Maybe not 14 years straight. But I'll, take, <laughs> I'll, take, I'll take one day. <laughs> okay. Uh, for those of you who have uh, never seen Happy Hour before, Happy Hour is our uh, currently bi-weekly Friday show where we investigate one of the aspects of Star Citizen's behind the scenes. We have a couple different variations. We have the Happy Hour interview where we invite developers like Gareth, who was on the show just two weeks ago, to discuss uh, various, various aspects of Star Citizen development. L last, uh, last show was Gareth and uh, Will Maiden talking about game systems and 3.0. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend you check that out. We also do the Happy Hour Showcase, where we play the game live with our backers. We do the ha Happy Hour Museum, where we explore games from our developers' past, like uh, former Wing Commanders or Strike Commanders or stuff like that, uh, and show how those games apply to today's current development. And then, of course, we have Happy Hour Game Dev, where we invite a developer to come on, we hook their computer up to the stream, and we make something live for you uh, with input from the fans. Uh, not necessarily for inclusion in the game, but to show uh, the process of how these things are made, you know, live and stuff like that. So this is the very first game dev that we've done remotely. Uh, we've never we've never had, tried to do a game dev remotely across the, the the world here. So forgive us if we have any technical issues. I think we're going to be okay. We've, we've worked most of those out. Uh, Gareth, for those who have never seen you before, they didn't they didn't see uh, the last show or whatever. Why don't you tell folks a little bit about who you are and what you do for Star Citizen? Okay, so if you didn't watch the last show, what are you doing? Come on, watch the show. Uh, my name is Gareth Bourne, and I'm a live designer at Foundry 42 in the UK. Um, so live design is a bit of a, a strange one. Um, even people in the industry ask me what what does live design even mean. Mm -hmm. And um, I do. Um, my job is very content driven, and I have a lot of input in the tech that goes into getting that content through into the game. The live part of the game being the PU, hence, hence live designer. Gotcha. That's what I do. Yeah. And uh, some of the things you've been working on recently are? I've been working on derelicts, outposts, missions that use both derelicts and outposts, and creating entire systems with my fingertips. <laughs> All right, so that's a that's a very good segue. Thank you for that into into the solid system. Now, why don't you tell us what the solid system is and why it's so important to our development? So, in its most basic form, it would be a visualizer to help me understand enormous spaces because we deal with incredibly large spaces. Mm -hmm. I'm sure everyone's seen that picture of a moon with Skyrim on the little yeah. crater. I believe that was on Reddit. <laughs> so. That's at the most basic form. It's the most grandiose form, like selling it. It makes it allows me to make solar systems incredibly quickly, incredibly easy. And obviously, I say easy as if it's not amazing yeah. or anything. But there's a lot of content and a lot of tech that goes behind this mm -hmm. in making it nice and simple for me. Yes, it's it's an overview, but behind the overview, there's amazing, crazy code stuff happening yeah it, it's no secret and it's been discussed uh, a number of times that that cry engine was and and most video games engines uh, in fact i can't think of one a single one haven't been made for game maps and game worlds of this scale so definitely not. When, when we were putting together uh the first version of 2.0. I remember when we had to we had putting in Crusader and then putting in Yila and you having to sit there with the X Y Z and sliding it over and then moving your viewport and then sliding it over and then moving your viewport inside. And I was just sitting there watching them and I'm like, "There's got to be a better way to do this." Uh, <laughs> traditional engines are just not made for such. Gotcha. Boss. So Solid uh, is the tool that we developed internally. Uh, it was uh, uh, Sasha, right? It was Sasha out of Frankfurt who, who made it? That's right, yeah. Sasha over in DE. 
Yeah. That's, that's, let's give some Good cheers in, in chat for Sasha, please. He won't see it, but maybe somebody in DE will tell him. Sasha uh, worked with Garrett to create this amazing tool for us, which automates so much of the process of, of creating our, our, our game worlds here. Um, and it's, it's just a normal part of game development. You know, you, you start with no tools and you build the tools and then you can build the game. And that's a lot of what the, the early years of Star Citizen have been. Uh, you know, it's, it's, you take all this time and all this energy and all, the, all these years to create the tools that will then allow you to make the content uh, much uh, easier, much quicker, much more efficiently and stuff like that. And Solid is one of the one of the my favorite tools that I've seen come out of the tools team here. It's it's so cool. So I'm really That's excited that, that we get to show it off today. Um, let's go ahead and switch our views so we can see Solid in action here. So we'll go ahead and switch there. Switching. Ooh. Hey, there it worked. Go. Double switches Woo! from across the from across the ocean. Now, what Magic. you're looking now? What are we looking at right here? What what is this? So we're looking at right here is just a level in the editor in uh, Lumberyard, and as you can see, there's empty. nothing but big empty space. So, like we were saying earlier, the traditional method, I would be dragging entities in and then trying to get the distance right. It's just a nightmare. X no. Y Z, you know, dragging over. Yeah, there. none of that, none of that nonsense, please. Mm -hmm. So. Bringing over uh, Solid now, which is, bam, on your screen right now, I okay. hope. Is that right? Now, for those of you watching at home, we are going to create two solar systems today. Uh, the first one we are going to create is we are going to create Stanton uh, from scratch, as you're going to see it in 3.0. Uh, so we're going to add the star, the planet, the moons, and whatnot, just to show you a bit about how this works and whatnot. When we're done with that system, then we will open uh, suggestions up to the community, and we will make we will make a solar system. Uh, we'll, we'll see what we'll make when that comes. So, Gareth, what is the first step in making Stanton? So, the first step is adding Stanton itself, the star. There is no system without light in Stanton's okay. case. Stanton's star. There we go. So, I pull Stanton's star in. Bam. And it's in there. Right now, I would normally move that to zero, but we won't worry about that for now. So, I will show you that that has come into our system in real time. Scroll backwards. It is enormous. Mm -hmm. So I have moved the camera to inside it. <laughs> there we go. Oh wow. Yes. And I can I can move that around in solid. You can't see my mouse, but I have a hold of it. I've just moved it to somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> too f I've moved it too far. Um but yeah, there we go. There's our starting point, Stanton Star. Back over to solid now. And so there's my starting point. And now I want to add Crusader in. So I know that is Stanton 2, because we like to use the that kind of terminology rather than the names. Mm. Not on a personal basis with our planets. <laughs> it's important to maintain a <laughs> professional relationship with your oh, Yes, it is indeed. <laughs> so now that's in. It's very loose. It doesn't belong to anybody, just uh -huh. like Stanton Star does. If I quite simply just drag and drop Stanton 2 inside Stanton Tar, it now belongs to it. So you can see this big radius stretching around all over the place, and you can see the orbital radius and the angle is changing up over here. Gotcha. So now Stanton 2 will, you know, belong to Stanton Star and it will rotate depending on its radius and its angle. So obviously in sta inside solid, it's not that visually exciting. Mm -hmm. but if I move it back over here again and I jump. There she blows. Uh, it might need refreshing. Oh, yeah, there she is. He's just in the darkness. So I need to move Stanton Star. I need to move it closer to the star so we can get some light on there. There we go. Now she's catching the light. And she, and so the, the star is actually the light source inside the solar system here. So, yep. so, so as, I, as you move Stanton around, the light will change on it. Absolutely. Which is really cool. It's all very much in real time. Obviously, I've just taken some artistic license and put it wherever I feel mm -hmm. is going to catch the light nicely. But I can, if I so wish, go back into solid and without having to manually move it in that editor view, like I was mm -hmm. talking about earlier in the traditional way, I can just type in the radius and type in the angle. But we're not going to do that for now because right. it's more exciting if I do that once Stanton 2 has some more children. Right. Can we bring Stanton closer and far just to see how, the, how it changes when it's 
closer and farther away? Yeah, sure. So you want it to be close to the star? Yeah, let's, let's, let's bring it close. Let's bring it too close for comfort here. Right in like. there. You'd probably die on the surface of the planet that was that close. Obviously, it's my, my apartment doesn't have air conditioning, so I'm used to it. <laughs> yeah, I did. So even so, much brighter. so this is a great example of the scale of the system because in solid it, it looks like it's right on top of it. No, that's still look no. how far away it's, it still is. It is still one million seven hundred and thirty-two thousand seven hundred and sixty-two kilometers away. Gotcha. Uh, I, I love how you, you, actually, <laughs> you can see how it's closer to the, to the sun, so it's actually, the light is actually beginning to to cover more of the planet there. Yep. That is cool. It is really cool. So if I, right. I'm going to bring Solo back over. So now I'm going to give Stanton 2 its first child, which is Stanton 2A, otherwise known as Selin. And it's died on me. No. <clears throat> no. What? Teething problems. No. I was doing this just fine earlier. Okay, so I Where's might fine on my little... computer, Gareth? Does it? <laughs> Oh no! Isn't it the way it always works. Always. Okay, let's try again. Let's get it back up here. There we go. It's dropped in now. I don't know what happened. There. I had a little freak out, probably because of a uh, my GPU is having a fun time <laughs> trying to stream over all yes. the world. Okay, so now I can drop Stanton 2A in, and it belongs to Stanton 2. Again, you can see the orbital radius, and that's where it's freaking out. So let's take that down to like. And maybe we should move Crusader back to its proper orbit. Maybe it's too yeah. close. Yeah, I think that might be what's going on. So here's two A. It's way too close. I'm gonna type it in manually. See, it's still way too close. So let's go for two, two, two. There we go. So here we are with Stanton Star, its child Stanton Two, and then Stanton Two's child Stanton Two A which is selling. So again, it's not all that visual in Solid, so I'm going to jump back over to the editor and show you where it lives. See, really far away. <laughs> <laughs> so tiny in comparison. Huh. <laughs> but that's pretty cool. Immediately I have the beginnings of a system, so I'm just going to tuck him in somewhere a bit more exciting. It's so funny that this is this is so deceptively simple. But it, know, it, it's it, took, it, it, it took so much time and so much work to, to build the systems to get to this point, you know, to, to where we could create a tool that allows us to just, you know, pop stuff in like this. Yeah, it's, everything I'm moving around now is an object container, which is a fantastic, because obviously this is a procedural mm -hmm. moon I'm, move, I'm moving here. There's a lot of work that goes into creating a procedural moon. So, and the fact that I can just drop it in as an object container, move it around, and it'll update in real time. It's an enormous amount of content I'm moving here. This thing's got outposts on, uh -huh. it, it, it rotates, it's got everything. And I'm just able to be like, yeah. do do do, making a nice system with all these orbits. Can you, can you, a couple can, of minutes. Can you show us that now? Can you, can you go down into the surface of, of, of Selen? Is, is I gonna, don't know. Yeah, well, this, might, this might push it with the, with the solid opening. It's a, uh, well, I don't, I'm more worried about spoilers. I'm more worried about what oh. I can show. Oh, no, no, okay? no. No, we're, we're, we're okay to show Sullen. I've, I've, okay, cool. We're, 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 we're so, okay here. so here we are. This is my... <laughs> this obviously isn't what Stanton's system yeah. usually looks like. Yeah. But I can just fly straight down. Yeah. And there it is. And all the audio kicks in as well. I'm not sure if you can no, hear they, that. No, they, they can't hear anything. That's what I was saying. You're, you're, you're protected from spoilers here. Okay, cool. <laughs> they, won't, they, won't, they won't be able to see any of the quest content. They won't be able to see so, hear any of the stuff. Obviously, like this is, I'm still way out. So I can fly all the way down to roughly head height. And there we are. Oh, I've gone inside. I was just looking for, I was looking for my star. <laughs> there it is. So would, would you call that a, a seamless transition from space Absolutely. down to that thing? Look at that. I can just be... Straight up, straight back out again, and I can move it. It's amazing. It's absolutely crazy. Cool. Obviously, there's so much work comes into just getting to this point, so I think that illustrates quite nicely. <laughs> All right, and that's it for Happy Hour Game Dev. I've done what I yeah. wanted to do, and we'll see you all later, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> but now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually put a station around okay. 
clicked away because that's also very cool. Um, I just need to refresh my memory of which one I want to put on there. I'm going to use Security Post Korea, which is a location a lot of people, I should hope, yes. are very familiar with. <laughs> yes, so Security Station Korea, which has been defended for a total of <laughs> for 100,000 man hours <laughs> within Star Citizen's universe already. And, it, and here it is on the end of my mouse. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Check it down. Oh, it's doing that thing again where it's freaking out. So I think there's a little bit. Yeah, well, this bug. is a good time to remember that this and all, as as with most things that starts this in our works in progress. Yeah, this there is we go. this is not the final version of Solid. It will continue to get yeah. iterated and and improved as time goes on. I think the thing is just because yeah, when I'm dropping it in, it's it's actually you know it's putting that object container in and i think it's just taking a moment to uh reload the script mm -hmm. purely because my gpu is under some stress some duress yes. and yes. so now i do the same thing i just pop korea in under there and now we've got you can see a nice tree of parent and children gotcha and so now as crusader rotates ar ar around the stanton star it will yep. take yilo with it or sealant with it it will take sealant with it and it will take and Sila will take Korea with it. Yeah, and they'll all rotate at the right speed depending on their radius. And um, right. So let, yeah. let's let's do that. Let's take a look at it in in the engine right now, and then let's drag it to the other side. And, and... Yeah, let's put it there, and let's take a little look. Hopefully, that's framed the planet nicely. But, uh, it's hard to tell. There it is. Oh, too fast. My camera's set up really high. <laughs> There, there, there it is, immediately just dragged in Korea. And there's the moon, it's a little bit too far away. But there it is, catching the light as well there. So I'm just gonna, in real time, just drag this bad boy a bit closer, try and get a nicer view. There we go. Jump on over. Still. Hopefully not inside. It's still too far away. Is, is it inside? <laughs> it looks like it might be inside the moon. Oh no, there's the moon. There, there okay. <laughs> the moon is behind me. <laughs> yes, and this is a this is a fantastic demonstration of something that I've seen at least three dozen times on various developer screens. It is trying to get around a, 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 a star system at this scale. It's it's we're still obviously like what you're seeing here is we are still building the tools that allow us to get around and work in this scale, uh, because it's used to the camera speed as well. Yeah. It's, it's my little hiccup there. Yes, uh, none of the default CryEngine camera speeds were nearly fast enough. So even though it's in solid, I can still play with it. Once it gets to a point where it's more like distances I'm used to, mm -hmm. I can still do what I want in the editor. So it's still. It doesn't dictate entirely. I can still mess around mm -hmm. and try and get it to look at that looking sitting sitting pretty nicely there. I can even rotate it and it'll just pop. Can, can we get the nice. station, the moon, and the planet all in the same shot here? Hmm. Just, there, oh, almost. Yeah, so if I yeah, move cell in, security post career is going to go with it, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to move it in a bit closer to Stanton. Bonk. I'm going to jump over there. I'm inside the planet. Oh, coming out. Where's, where's Korea gone? <laughs> Korea, Korea, <laughs> this is, where are you? Where, there it is. Oh, too fast again. There, there we go. So, what, what you're seeing, what you can't see at the bottom because it's behind our windows, guys. He keeps going down. He's changing the camera speed between each one because it's... You have to be super fast to work with the yeah. planets, but you have to be super slow to work with the station because of the scales <laughs> and whatnot. The scale so, he's, is so he's having incredible. to constantly switch camera speeds in order to, to try to get everything. It's super this is, fun, though. Yeah. So there well, we go. It is, all told, it is a wonderful problem to have to, yes. to be able to work in this, in this scale like this. So it would be better if I could get around the other side but there's a lot of fiddling involved in that's that right. <laughs> so it still looks cool that's right so so we've seen where everything is now let's go ahead and move uh let, let's, let's move crusader to the other side and, and watch how everything drags with it get a totally okay. different look here so i'm gonna do it off screen in solid okay but so you so you can see it in real time in the editor so if i where would you like it no no pick pick a place surprise us 
Uh, the other side of the star. There we go. Opposite side. So a different side is lit. You'll see that Korea is lit from a different angle. Oh, it needs to reload the scripts. <laughs> That's just it hanging out over there until it reloads. And then I will go back to its new location. Boop. There you go. It reloaded as I moved. And as you can see, it's lit. The star isn't over here anymore. Yep. It's somewhere up there. There we go. I've moved it around to here on the opposite side. If you remember, it was yep. over here. So you moved Stanton, and Stanton brought Seelan, and Seelan brought Korea. Yep. That's okay. the magic of it. So typically speaking, I would just get all my parents and children just laid out. Boom. One big go. I can bring in an enormous amount of content, an enormous amount of work in moments and then i would change the orbital radiuses to match well, what why, the writers have made well why don't you go ahead and start adding in the the, the, the stand system items that we'll see in 3.0 uh folks watching at home or on your phones or whatnot uh you can ask us questions on either twitch chat or in our own spectrum general chat you can preface your question with the word question in capital letters surrounded by brackets that's going to help us uh pull it out from all the other conversation. Uh, Gareth, we already have a couple questions, if you can answer okay. these while you're working. Uh, first question is, can orbits be inclined? Can orbits be inclined? So, as in to have them at a different angle? Yeah, I think it means, to, I, think, I think they mean changing the angle, like a, like, an, like a highly elliptical orbit or... Yeah, absolutely. Okay. It's, uh, it's just a matter of um, okay. moving it and it's... Uh, Z axis. Right. And, and I, or actually, it, as inclined goes, if I'm, and forgive me if I'm not understanding your question correctly, but I think I am. So you've got your planet here, if you can see, and, you know, a, a, plan, a moon could go around at its equator, but can we change the incline of that orbit so that it goes oh, right. horizontally yes, yeah. as opposed to vertically? Yeah, so it's okay. all, like, like I said before, I mean, it wasn't a very good description. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the orbit, if I move the planet up, even though here in the visual representation it's still flat, mm -hmm. what's happening is that's moving with it. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, uh, so, so if I move, it's still happening. But obviously this is a 2D pane, so there's no way to visualize that. Unless, of course, we change the color or something. Maybe I can ask Sasha to do that for me. Hey, there you go. There you go. So, so, you, so you, set the, you set the 2D representation here, and then you can go into the game world. And as you like drag Seelan up, if you drag Seelan up on the Y-axis or whatever, it would change the incline of the orbit. Yes. Well, it should. <laughs> it's not something I've done in a while, so I'm not going to do it live. <laughs> Hopefully it works. <laughs> I didn't test that prior to this, so I'm going to avoid doing that. Yes, it's a good time to remind everybody, this is the very first iteration of Solid. Uh, Solid will continue to iterate and improve just like every other tool for Star Citizen. Absolutely. Um, uh, so here uh, I've dragged in Stanton 2B. Sorry to strike no, again. No, by all means. Uh, so I'm going to show that one off as well just so you can see how different it is there we go and i'm inside it because it's enormous Ooh. too far too far oh we can't see it because i'm on the unlit side let's go around but yeah so nice it was a nice kind of look at a partial solar eclipse there that was nice yeah I like that the very so. first time I loaded into 3.0, I uh, quantumed to Yila and managed to completely coincidentally, without planning it, make a perfect solar eclipse. Yila was perfectly oh, nice. eclipsing the sun. And I just saw this ring and I, think, and I thought, oh, what's wrong? The shaders are wrong. Something's messed up. And I had to fly I around love... and go, oh, no, it's not messed up. It's just awesome. I love the moments like that. Yeah. So here we are on Dema, which is very, very different to Selen. It's got these awesome big canyons. And I can just zip across this enormous space. And it just keeps up with me. It's not taking time to generate. It's just there. It just exists. And it's absolutely insane that I can do that. And awesome. there we are. So there, there goes Damar. I'm going to take away the nice visuals and go back to the, do the 2D pane I live in. Damar. <laughs> ah, defender of the nightmare. <laughs> So now I just need to refresh my memory. Sorry to do that weird thing where I'm looking somewhere else. It's okay. Uh, um, let's see if I can post you another question while you're working here. Um, yeah, do stars have geometry and size? Do stars have geometry and size? Currently, no. Um, we have planets and moons, and having a big 
star with solar flares and all the visuals involved is uh, another kettle of fish. Yes, it will happen. It's just right now, since the focus for the entire 3.0 branch is making the Stanton system, we only need the Stanton star at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm not saying no, as in that'll never happen. Don't oh, be silly. No, it'll, it will. Yeah, it, it will absolutely ha happen. Uh, we, have a, we have a star map with over 100 star systems, all with various stars of ty different types and sizes and stuff. So it's just, it's yeah. one of those, it's a, it's a cart before the horse kind of situation. Yeah, right now, absolutely. You, we're building the things that we need for right now. Yeah, that's the thing. So like I said before, we've got, need the sponge <laughs> before the icing. <laughs> What? <laughs> Do you remember that in the last the, chat? Need the sponge. I, was, I said some silly things on the. I was so nervous. <laughs> need the sponge before the icing. I don't yeah. think. I don't think that's a phrase, Gareth. Well, well, making video games is. I think is like baking a cake, right? You, need, you got the eggs, you got the sugar, you got the flour. Are you and talking then about you get the sponge? Are you talking about the sponges yeah. in, in the, as a cake, like a sponge, like sponge cake? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm thinking like a Victoria like a, sponge. Okay, I'm thinking like a like a dish sponge. Oh, uh, that's Maybe. probably a regional thing, isn't it? <laughs> like, what? what are you on about? Strange boy. It's all right. He likes blue cheese, so. <laughs> yeah, I can be sophisticated. All right. Okay, so now I've added Cove Lake Shipping Hub, which is another place everybody should be familiar with. So again, I'm just going to show off the fact that I just dragged in an entire... Watch my camera speeds. An entire destroyed station in seconds just a confusion look at that that's cool i love surprise myself i surprised myself there i didn't do that on purpose that looks awesome i love the broken ring yeah it's totally badass i really like kovac station i think it's mm. one of my favorites yeah i'm a personally i'm a i'm a blade runner more than a minority report guy i like things yeah. that, are, that are used <laughs> and and broken down probably because i'm yeah. used and broken down <laughs> Can, oh, come off it. I can relate. I don't believe it for a second. Well, there we go. So that right there is represented in beautiful 2D right yeah. here. Uh, one of the questions that's come in is, can we see a station from the surface of the moon? Yes, if I move it close enough. Yes. Uh, yeah, absolutely. There is virtually no draw distance <laughs> in, the, in, the, uh, in, in, our, in our engine I right wonder. now. So, so I think that isn't close enough, but yeah. I'm going to try. Yeah. I'm going to try and do it live for you guys. Yeah. The things that determine whether you can see something from the surface are, you know, obviously size and distance, but also things like atmospheric scattering and, and the lighting and stuff like that. So there, there's a number of factors that will determine uh, when and where you can see something from the surface. But Oops. it is absolutely technologically possible. That is, of course, if I can to a point where it is visible I may need to, to put the script there it is oh that's just the distance is playing with me <laughs> um, <laughs> it was already there all along you fool <laughs> the god that's coming from inside the solar system <laughs> okay let's bring it right over hopefully so I'm doing things very traditionally and awkwardly here. You okay. can see just just by me doing it here how yes. much more awkward this is. Yes. Now and and this is how 2.0, the 2.0 Crusader system was created. All these things dragged in here and shh and shh. Is that where we want it? No. Shh and shh. It was it was quite a uh, it was quite, quite a, a troll. <laughs> so fortunately, I have it selected. So there you go. You can see it. It's chilling. Oh, I've gone under the world again. There you go. My camera speeds. My camera speeds. There we go. Suffer from Great. a wealth of options. There it is. Looking really cool. Yep. And what's that dot down there? That's this. Is that the, that's a star? Oh, yeah. We see another. Yeah, star. Was we, star. We, we were seeing a star in the background from the surface that was bright enough. Yeah. Sorry, I totally clicked on something I didn't totally intend to. There. Uh, coming back. <laughs> oh man. There we go. I'm back to Stanton again. Yeah, so that was a little taster there of how far you can see, which is a phenomenal distance. I've lost it. It's <laughs> okay. But also, this is looking really cool. Crusader yes. hanging there. Yes. On the side. So, back to the 2D pane. Sorry, guys. Nope, it's okay. 
There we go. Any more questions there? Anything else I could show someone live? Because that was pretty uh, fun. What, what else? What, what, what else does Stan need? We've got two moons. Don't we need a third moon? We do. We, we need, need a third two moon. C. Uh, is there a hard limit on how many children can exist? How many child objects? Um, how many child objects? No, there's not a hard limit. The only limit would be performance. As with anything, as with any game, you could yes. throw everything you want at it. Yes. But it needs to run. <laughs> yes. So within within Solid, I could add 200 stances, a big tree. But obviously, the game would run on my PC because I have a lovely PC. Okay. But, uh, uh, but not for everyone. Okay. Uh, another question for the fans. We see that you can adjust the radius and the angle. Can you adjust the speed of the orbit? That is possible if I ask if I ask Shasha to do it for me because it's all worked out from the radius obviously it's all determined by how close it is to its parent and its pull really so that's look. so that's all that's all determined by the actual physics yeah the size of the mass of the item and its relation to the to the bigger object that it's orbiting determines the yep. speed of the orbit I can I can determine I can change the speed of the planets on the fly, but I have to do that within the planet's level itself. Gotcha. So instead Which of faking it, we actually you guys actually built a system where it, it calculates it all as it should be. Yeah, well, that's why this is up here. <laughs> that's something that I personally shouldn't have to worry about. You know, yeah. I, I shouldn't be get, thinking sitting down doing all this crazy math. That's the system side. Mm -hmm. Nope. Kind of Excellent thing. question, person who asked that. Thank you. Yeah, great question. Very good. And again, I'm going to refresh my memory of the station that lives around Yellow. Ah, the station that lives around Yellow is Grim Hex. However, Grim Hex already exists within Yellow's level. Yeah. And that is because it exists within an asteroid ring. And the asteroid ring around Yella it needs to know about Grim Hex before it comes into existence, so, so they can't be independent of each other. So it's all part of the same object container. Yeah, so here we go. If I can just get my camera speeds right. Uh, one, of the more, one of the questions that keeps coming up is whether we can actually show the rotation in action. Like, can, can we speed up and actually see the planets rotate? Um, I'd have to load a different level, but I can totally do that at some point if you're comfortable with waiting for me to load a level. All right. It, we'll, we'll see if we can't fi find some time at the end. Yeah. Because it belongs on the properties of the planet itself. Gotcha. So you're, you're spinning around Yila looking for Grimhex at the moment? Yes. And I'm wondering where it is. Whether I've dropped in the wrong object container or not. Maybe my asteroid generation is off. Do, do, do. I may have just done something too risky. Yeah, <laughs> my GPU is freaking out. It's okay. There we go. I think it's. Yes, we're, we're we're working a little uh, a little more willy nilly than we we normally would. Ah, working at this scale requires a lot of deliberate action. We're <laughs> we're we're going yes. pretty crazy for the sake of the show. So I am gonna have to. S terminate my cry engine i have pushed it too far it's okay <laughs> running a lot of programs at the same time generally speaking when you're developing you just have the editor open so yes. that you have more pc resource okay. let's go ahead and switch back to the other camera while you get going yeah and I'll switch back to one for me one is that switched yep that's switched there we go great all right so while gareth works to get that back up uh, hi, everybody. If you just uh, joined us, uh, you missed a little bit. Uh, <laughs> this is Happy Hour Game Dev, where we explore the fun, mystery, and mayhem of creating systems in the Star Citizen universe. Uh, our guest today is uh, Gareth Bourne from Foundry42 UK, live designer for the Star Citizen Persistent Universe and master of Sol Ed. Uh, the, the solar system editor that allows us to create solar systems uh, with relative ease. We won't say it's easy. It's, it's a relative ease compared to the way that we used to do it before. Uh, we are waiting while Gareth, you know, 
re re reboots the, uh, the the software and whatnot. How are you doing, Gareth? I'm um, great. Yeah, apart from that crash. <laughs> what's your what's your what's your favorite part about Solid so far? Like, 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 um, when you were working on it with part. Sasha, what, what's the what's the thing that you're so happy that we that we got involved there? Just the the ability to build that so quickly. You can imagine trying to build that when I was moving it around on its axes. That's just it's just not feasible. It's mm -hmm. just not at all usable in any way. So having this tool is just makes my life amazing. Me too. And the fact that he was so responsive to my feedback was just everything. Well, Sasha's a good guy. Yeah, yeah, he's great. Oh, I've lost it all. I've lost it all. <laughs> but I can, however, build that again really well, quickly. And that's a we, good example. We are actually a little over halfway through the show. So I think... No way. Yes, it's flying, isn't it? Really? So yeah, so I, I I think we can go ahead and start on the part where we uh we, we create a solar system with uh, input from the uh, from 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 our community here. So right. Uh, so have I switched? Do you seeing what I want you to see? Yep, we are seeing what you, what I want you to see. So right Excellent. now, community, we are going to we are going to uh, put up a series of questions now that will determine the type of system that we make. Um, right off the bat, how many? S the first question. Should we have? Uh, I'm pretty sure I already know what the uh, <laughs> what, what the answer to this one is going to be, but we're going to put it on. I think we've I know what you're going to ask. Yeah, because we've already had a number of questions about this already. So folks who are watching on Twitch, you can enter a one in chat to vote for one. You can enter a two in chat to vote for two. Uh, how many stars should we have? We're going to keep it simple. As you see, we just uh, overloaded the system a little bit, so we're not going to go crazy with a, with a tertiary star system or Imagine whatnot. That. But we, we've had a number of questions in the first 30 minutes about whether binary star systems are, are, are possible and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> somebody voted for one. Who are no. you? Who are you pe 13 people have said one. The, 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 uh, they're just trolling you. They're just yeah, trolling no. you. The, 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 like, no, the, we're not going to vote for the obvious choice. It's... <laughs> this, this is a this is Mavericks. not a real election. This was hard. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> I think we're uh, we can go ahead and close this. We've got a whopping ninety percent lead. I don't foresee that changing. We'll let it go for a little bit oh. longer. Let's see if we can do another question here. What what other questions do we have? Uh, a question about how elliptical an orbit can be. Is there is there a, a, can, can, can you make it a, a, an orbit that's like a, a pretty oblong? Pretty oblong. oblong? Um, is that a yeah, so yeah, works. absolutely. I mean, I don't claim to be an orbital it's, scientist. It's a, the the really cool thing about working in a space game, also <laughs> a really difficult thing about working in a space game, is you have a full spectrum of space to work in. You know, you've got 360 degrees in any direction you want. So, it, yeah, the answer is yes. Basically, what kind of space game would we be if we didn't utilize all of the space <laughs> sounds right. obvious when I say it like that. All right. So, so the vote was obviously and predictably for a for a binary star system. Um, so, uh, do you have the uh, the space open now? You can show us that there are no stars in there. We're not we're not Just cheating this. We, we are we are doing this live. We have we an empty, empty empty system. Okay. Nothing going on. All right. Back over to you. Now, remember, most of the work right now is developing the Stanton system. So we don't have uh, 20 different stars programmed into the system. We don't have 20 different planets programmed in the system. We are, our, our guys are programming and working with the assets that are necessary to build out the Stanton system at the moment. So we will be using, we will be using a lot of uh, stuff for the, for the Stanton system repurposed here. So but I do have, I do have, a, a second have the Odin star. Have the Odin star. Oh, there we go. So, Again, I just make, boom, there we go. And of course, I could parent something else, stand and star, I could just, boop, either direction, just parent it all up. So let's get that somewhere where I hope looks visually just, stunning. So you, just put, you just put a star in there and parented it to another star. Yeah. Just moved it around. Just, it's yes. no big deal. Yeah, it's whatever. I imagine that's what it was like when, uh, when the Lord Almighty did his final work on us. <laughs> Can the stars be called Gareth and Jared? No. Yeah, 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 we could rename the entities if we wanted. <laughs> Where is the other one? Where art thou, second star? It ate its twin brother. I, I thought I saw it for a second, but no. Oh, I've lost it. I might have put them too close to one another. You know, they are enormous entities. Mm -hmm. 
So if I, I'm going to go to Stanton first, because that's kind of the big daddy. And zooming out, zooming out, zooming out till I see it. There's Stanton Star. And Odin is somewhere else entirely. You'll have to give me a moment here That's whilst right. I That's beam right. around the universe. Select objects. Odin star. Where are you? There. Uh... <laughs> All the way over there. So I haven't managed to get you something visually stunning just yet, but I will. I will. Where are you again? Over there. Big spaces, man. Big spaces. Okay, so now I know where it, where it is. I'm quite surprised I'm not seeing it, to be honest. So let's bring it in. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in there. Maybe the Odin script isn't loading properly? Yeah, that's what I'm going to try and do now. Oh, it's tiny, tiny, tiny. <laughs> oh, it's a much smaller star. Yes, yeah. I need to zoom in and solid so I can get... Mm, bring it in to there. There, there it is. <laughs> it's much smaller. Well, that answers the, that answers the question about whether stars have size and shape. Oh, was there a question about that? Yeah, earlier we, we asked about whether you can you can change the the the, the size and shape of the stars. So, yes. So yes, that 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 is, that is it. The Odin is a very tiny star. Well, at least yeah. it is right now in the solid. He's, he's only little. <laughs> there we go. So okay, so so uh, I I'm on that that's your star then. That's Gareth. That's Gareth. That's I'm Gareth. the small one. The small one. <laughs> there we go. All right. So there we are. Two stars. All right. And uh, so next question: How many planets? Probably could have done this while you were playing with it. One, yeah. two, three, four. We'll go to one, two, three, and four there. So there we go. Folks, you can vote on how many planets. Um, what would happen if we... if we Can you have a, tr a, a trinary star system? Is that a thing that even exists in science? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that is. In science. Well, no. we, we can go off piste and go science fiction. Let's throw another Stanton in there. What happens if we throw another Stanton in there while we're while we're playing? Let's, let's do it whilst we're waiting. Let's go it. If I can type. So Doing it live, really. people. Doing it live. Bam! In it goes. It's giving it an 001 because it's a duplicate one that exists. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Shall we chain it up or have yeah. them all go around the original? I don't know. Let's do a chain. Okay. That's Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. So we so we have a big Stanton with a tiny Odin and with another okay. big Stanton orbiting around the Odin. Because <laughs> why not? Why not? Because we can. And that's part of the beauty. And it's ages away again. I need to zoom in. There you are. Come on, be visible. Yes. It's a good time to remind folks that, again, the Stanton system is not a binary star system. So, so testing and coding for, for, for binary stars you may not have been completed. Well, it definitely hasn't been. So there, we have, we have a trinary star system. <laughs> it's in a nice triangle shape. There, Sherry, too. is that a thing that can happen? Sherry? Tell us. I don't know if she can hear me. She probably can't hear me. <laughs> Sherry's going to come in here like, you can't have a trinary star system. <laughs> <laughs> too late. Already done right. it. All right. Uh, as far as how many planets, three had a respectable showing, with with a thirty-one percent vote. But uh, as expected, uh, four took it away. Ah, uh, okay. So, so, so people want to see four stars. Four stars. Or four, or four planets. Sorry, <sighs> getting crazy say, with the stars it. here. Pushing it there. Getting crazy two. with the stars. Two. Um, I'm going to throw in moons because they are more complete and okay. cool. Right. So we're going to use moons to, to, to substitute for our stars or for our planets at the moment. Just going to give it a second to survive from having dropped in a big object. Yeah. You might want to save your work here. <laughs> yeah. There we go. It's back. All right. Yeah. I'm going to follow your advice, actually. 
Let me just save. <laughs> save your work. There we go. It's back. So the first planet. So we have one round every star and two round one of the others. Sure. Why just not? go for it. Yeah, why not, eh? Designer's choice. Yep. There you go. That one belongs there. I'm going to throw in Daymar, because Daymar is also totally rad. Again, it's going to take a little moment. I'm here. very curious what this is going to do with uh, with uh, the lighting and the shadows. Uh, it's going to do some crazy stuff. It handles it really nicely. There we go, and it goes. And then I'm going to make you belong to this one. Uh, let's see if we have any more questions. Uh, uh, you mentioned that the asteroid belt around Yila was included in the uh, in the Yila object container. Correct. Yeah. yeah. So aster so asteroid belts aren't created using the solid system. They're created uh, by the by the uh, planetary system. The, the people who create the planets. Yeah, much like the planets, they're they're an entity of their own. So okay. they are procedurally generated. Also. Okay. Um, so there's something that I would I can drag and drop an entity in and have it okay. like that uh, way. But well, like like a, like a uh, like what what about something like if we if we were doing our 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 solar system and we were doing the asteroid belt in our solar system would would that would you think that would exist as a as an object container of a planet or would that be an item on its own within the solar system? That would be well. It all depends on what its parent is, right? So that would be that would belong to. Oh, I don't know, <laughs> but basically, that I think that would be standalone, right? But the yeah. thing with the asteroid ring around Yella is we need it to behave with Yella. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, so that so it belongs inside Yella's object. Yes. If we were, if we were, when it comes time to build, you know, the Sol system, I, I, and forgive me, I'm going to get crucified if this is wrong, but I'm pretty sure the asteroid belt <laughs> would revolve around our star Sol. Uh, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, so we'll, that we'll would see how there. wrong I am. I think that's right, though. <laughs> it's been a but while. We, it depends. Yeah, it basically depends on how you want the asteroid belt to behave. I went to space camp. You want it to belong to. I went to space camp in 1988. Did you? So, what was yeah, that like? It was awesome. So that's I'm cool. Just, just in case I'm absolutely wrong about our our asteroid belt in our system, I don't think I am. But keeping yourself safe. There we go. There's that to see. So that one's gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the Kuiper belt, if I'm if I'm remembering correctly. There's there's an awful lot to remember. Let's be honest. Yeah, there might even be there might even be two asteroid belts in our in our system. It's been a long time since I bothered to look. It's been a little while. Bam! There we go. So there's three, and um, we wanted four, right? Uh, yeah, they they voted for four planets. So we got a planet around Stanton. We got a, oh, we got a planet around Jared. We have a planet around <laughs> Gareth. Uh, we added a third star. Uh, we'll, we'll call that star Nope. Nope. The Nope, nope star. Nope, which, 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 is the, which is the star that gives this system its, its name. This is the Nope system. Uh, so, Long-time viewers of Happy Hour Game Dev will understand why the system is uh, called Nope. Okay, so put him in again. Again, give it a little moment for my... My trusty GPU yeah, to do its uh, yeah. do its work, and then uh, <laughs> Twitch chat is going crazy. Save, save. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Save. System <laughs> is saved. You will control not lose. S. <laughs> we'll just yeah. name this fourth planet Control yeah. S. <laughs> <laughs> I can go in and rename uh... these actually. So that's what one deserves to have two. Uh, since this is the Nope system, let's go ahead and give give the two planets to the Nope to the Nope star. The, our, our, third little, nope. our third little... Which was our th uh, this one. Yeah. 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 So they're going in there. Pow! Two. So let's do some interesting renaming. Oh, I'm going to have to give it a minute again. There we go. So I need to remember which one was which. <laughs> oh, just trying to remember. So Saturn Star was the first one. Yes. Uh, what do, so, so, what so, do we so, want to call so that, that? That was Jared. That was Jared. According to our According to the chat here, Jared. Jared. And then the Odin star is Gareth. Odin star is me. Yes. The Nope system is the is the only system in the star system universe where you can find flying crotch spiders, oh. and uh, uh, vandal dogs. <laughs> Previously created. Okay. On. Freaky. 
Asian. Oh, I think I saw that big crazy spider thing. Yes, everybody saw the big crazy spider thing. Went yeah, because Josh, of, Josh uh, did a great job making that live. He's so skilled. It's yeah, that's, that's why everybody saw it, because Josh did a great job. He's amazing. Um, and then the little one is nope. Give it a second here. My poor PC. I'm sorry. Um, so this one is nope. With an exclamation mark? No exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. <laughs> sure, you're the designer. <laughs> nope. Planet. No, star nope. And then we have planets. So let's go back to solid. There we go. They are named. Ta-da! Okay. The Jared star. All right. So the planet rotating around Jared should be a uh, uh, red one. Red one. Why is that? Explain that to me. <laughs> God bless you, Gareth, for not knowing why. <laughs> nope. We are not explaining red. it to Gareth. <laughs> Nobody red is one. allowed to explain it to Gareth. There's going to be one person in this whole company that has no idea what red one means. <laughs> so there's red one. Gareth, just, be Ger Gareth just became my favorite developer in all of Foundry Am I too young? No. Stand, stand, stand TV. No. God bless you, Gareth. So what's this one going to be? <laughs> the one around Nope. Planet One. Well, the, 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 that's the planet around uh, the one around Planet Nope. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so let's make it Spider Planet. That's the planet spider where the spider planet. Spider Planet. Let's do it. Spider. I'm planets. sorry. I should be putting these things up for votes, but honestly, people, I'm just having too much fun, so. <laughs> Sorry. Stealing these people's fun. What yeah. are you? So that's the Spire Planet, and then the other one will be the, the Vandal Dog Planet. Vandal Dog. From our previous da, 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 da. Happy Hours. It is to use, isn't it? Vandal Dog. So yeah, V A N D U U L. Yes, because it's Vandal. Okay, and we're in. And then. Okay. And the final one. planet is Control mm -hmm. S. Control. <laughs> yes, Control S. <laughs> and it should be the abbreviation, the CTRL dash that, S. That is one, two, three, and the fourth one is there. Is, is there control. around planet Gareth? Now, now it, it's, it's your planet. You, you, I, I should let you name it whatever you want, but the, fo the folks are voting I, I for Control think, S. Yeah, I think it deserves to be Control S after my previous lack of saving. Okay. Safe. There we go. Just okay. to mark its naming, I will say. Uh, there it is. There's a question that says, "What GPUs are we using?" Uh, we update, we upgraded uh, Gareth's GPU yesterday uh, for the, for this broadcast. He's using a, a GTX 1080. Yeah, I'm putting it through its paces here, right running now. all of this yes. stream in. And... Yeah. It, sh it should be noted that he's running not just the game editor; he's running the solar system editor, the game editor. He's running Zoom, which is our brought, which is the broadcast client, which is getting us uh, a, an HD 720 picture broadcast over the internet over the world it's it's a surprisingly heavy you know resource hog but it gives us the, it's what allows us to have the picture yeah. that we're having right Vi now. video games engines on their own are yeah. very demanding so he's so, running he's running quite a bit to make this happen right now so so here we go so now i, I can play with all of this i can move nope and the dogs and the spiders We'll zoom around with them. If they were on there, they would totally be zooming around. Yes, I, I am upscaling it just to, to uh, 1080p. He is sending it to me in 720, and then I am I am processing the image and sending it out to you guys. It's a whole thing. It took me a week to, to, to make this happen. It's like some practice, so, isn't it? But it's, so it's, when, it's taken. Like, when I'm with Gareth, nope comes with me. <laughs> All right, let's, let, 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 let's, let's get a good image here. Let, let, let's go into the world and see what we can do. We are actually yes. almost out of time. It is almost already. It's, it's oh. been 53 minutes already, sir. Really, it's it's too fun, man. That's, I don't want to finish. Told you I okay. take care of you. Thanks, dude. Um, so everything is monumentally far away from each other. Which star is which? Which star am I looking at? <laughs> um, I'm in red one. So let's move red one over here. Let's move Gareth way closer yeah. to there. Yeah, we, we we couldn't use Skype. We tried to use Skype. Oh, it didn't like me no. at all. Sorry, I keep doing that really odd thing where I'm looking at the other screen. It's okay. No, you do what you got to do, man. Let's jump over there. You do what you have to do. That's a song I just wrote right now. Nice. <laughs> Where's my visual representation? <laughs> As you can, I'm going to move Solid back over so you can see what I'm trying to do. I'm trying. <laughs> it's all gone. Yeah, so that, just, just move everything into the into see if That's we can move it into, into the, the middle. Shot. Uh, one of the questions earlier uh, was, "What happens if moons collide with each other?" 
And what happens if moons collide? Um, at the moment, that would just they would just freak out. I think they they are not destructible objects. They would just Yet. collide and bounce off of each other. Yeah, absolutely, nobody mentioned that to Chris Roberts. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Death Star's incoming. Okay, so, obviously because. They are enormous procedural objects. It would mm -hmm. be quite the undertaking to have done that. Yeah. But th 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 this is this is really neat though in telling because because this really sells the scale of the system because on Solar Ed, Solid here it looks like everything is really close and next to each other and on top of each other. And we go into the editor and it's like, where is everything? It's <laughs> that's how massively large these systems are. I um, I don't think I'm going to get the kind of framing I'm after. Yeah. Well, loading lo loading three stars and four, I mean, technically they're moons, all in the same frame, all at the same time, we are probably asking quite a bit yeah. of, of the engine at this time. Yeah, I reckon I am making... We're, we're, we're going we're gonna to try it. We're going to try it. Yeah, I'm but, doing uh, what I can. Yeah, you, you will all forgive us if, if, we, if we can't quite pull this off just yet. This is, of course, a work in progress. Absolutely. Okay, so the distances are just too big, I think. It's just too much. I mean, I'm even forgetting what belongs to what now. Because <laughs> of all the lines are overlapping where I'm trying to do this very unrealistic... No, it's, I'm not going to get there. Not without really planning it through. I've done it too much on the fly. It's too much on the fly, I'm afraid. It's all right. But you can see it in 2D. Yes. <laughs> Which is cool. Yeah, I've, I've ruined our system. Look yeah. what I've done. Try it's it. crazy. Let's, let's try this before we go. Let's try one thing to see if it works. Let's save the work mm -hmm. and then reload the level. So it loads yeah. everything in all at once. Save. Close. It's going to take a, a moment. So I'm just going to yes. switch back to, to me. Switch back to me. Did that switch? All right. Yep, it did. Great. So, uh, thanks for joining us, everybody. We hope you've enjoyed the show. We, we're going to try one last thing to see if we, we can get all this to load in. Thing. We, uh, we are definitely pushing the engine <laughs> at, at, the, at this point uh, to, to, to see what we can do. Obviously, the, the system is not designed to do three stars and all this stuff at the moment. But we, want, we, wanted, to, we wanted to see what we could get away with. Um, if I could make yellow thing. rotate instead, if we would prefer. That could be a question. I could pose that to the community. That, 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 I can already tell you, that's actually come up quite a bit. People have been asking to see rotation. So maybe we should, maybe we should do that. Maybe we should do that since that's actually been requested and that's not just me trying to, put, <laughs> trying to make crazy. things that are impossible happen. Putting me under pressure. Yeah, they're saying rotate right now. Let's, let's go ahead and see the yeah, rotation. Yeah, yeah that, that I know for sure is... Nice and working. We'll go ahead and do that. And then uh, after the show is done uh, tomorrow or not tomorrow, but later on, I'll s we'll, we'll see if we if Gareth and I can't load it up for five minutes and just get a screenshot of everything. We'll, yeah, we'll, I'll we'll, try we'll and get people. Yeah, we'll see if yeah, we can't share that on, on that. Because it's probably just taking up too much time to load. That's all. Yeah, that's all. So let's go ahead and, and, see, a, and see a yield of rotation, and then we will call it a day. Awesome. Um, for those of you who are watching, if if you do, uh, if, if if you did enjoy the show, uh, please you know share it on the social medias and the reddits and give it a, a like or a thumbs up. Uh, the show will exist on uh, YouTube when we're when we're all done here. So um, showing uh, showing those views and those feedbacks are what are how uh, are the ammunition that we use to get shows like this possible. So so the the, so. the, the, the more the more support you can show for things like that is 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 what makes more things like this possible. So it's we appreciate you guys sharing it around and giving it the thumbs up and whatnot on uh, YouTube and all so that good stuff. I'm nearly there. Have to forgive me one more moment. It's okay. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Sorry. I recall Central Park and Fall. Where is the... We have that I want. Here between, we between go. YouTube and Twitch right now, we have three th over three thousand viewers. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks for Pretty watching good. everybody. Um so now I'm gonna switch. Okay, we're gonna switch. 
I'm switched. Can you see me? Yep. Excellent. So here we have the rotation speed value, which is how long it takes for Yella to spin once. So if I set that to a very small value, where are you? Please do it. <laughs> <laughs> not point zero zero one ah oh, man i've made false promises it must be turned off for now mm. i'm not seeing it do it <laughs> okay it's ntc yeah that doesn't want to play it doesn't want to play i'm very sorry guys it's all right we appreciate you trying I'm trying. <laughs> Nothing. No that's such why, luck. That's why we do it live. Yeah. I can but try. There's some strange noises happening. It's just my stomach. It's, it's about lunchtime here. Yeah. We're <laughs> out. We're out. I'm sorry, guys. It's okay. Oh. Turned off. It's all right. Thank you so much, Gareth, for taking your time today, for staying late. I know it's about 8 o'clock your time uh, now in, in Manchester, so thank you so much for staying late to, to be yes. here on the show with us today. Uh, I, th I, th I, think we saw, I think we saw some cool things today. I think we saw uh, a, a, a bit more explanation on solid and how important it is to, to Star Citizen's overall development. And, uh, you know, one of the more common questions we get is how are we going to build all these systems, you know, so that, you know, it, it's, a, it's a crucial tool in how we're going to do that. Um, we, 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 got to see, we got to see some of these moons in depth and up close. Uh, we got to see... Uh, some great looks at some space stations and how that process goes. And what did, what did you just do? Did you just yeah, I've I've ruined it. I'm afraid <laughs> I've killed it. Is it back to me? Camera two. Camera two. <laughs> Camera two. <laughs> uh, so yeah, guys. So thanks thanks for watching. Uh, remember the video will be up on YouTube. Uh, we appreciate you guys sharing it around and giving it a thumbs up and whatnot. Again, it is what makes uh, shows like this possible. You went back to the other camera, Gareth. Go back to the other camera. One. Yes. Sorry about that. That's how you know it's time to end the show, guys. Yeah. So uh, thank you, Gareth. We'll see you. Uh, the, 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 we've got one more show. It's in it's in two weeks. And then after that, we'll be off to Gamescom, guys. So, um, yeah, Gamescom. It's like in 26 days. So look forward to that. You'll be you'll be seeing and learning more about what's coming uh, in, the, in the coming weeks. Uh, so uh, for Gareth, a born live designer in Foundry 42 United Kingdom, uh, I am Jared Huckabee, community content manager here in CIG LA. Uh, we hope you have a wonderful weekend. And uh, yeah, you don't have to go home, but, but you can't stay here. <laughs> See you later, everybody. Bye.